My name is Ashley and I'm 20 years old and I'm an addict. At the age of 12, I began smoking pot and continued smoking pot until the age of 16. Then, pill, then began pain pills until the age of 18 when I discovered heroin in the needle. I continued using heroin for six months until I found out I was pregnant. At the grace of God, I was clean throughout my pregnancy. When my daughter was four months old, I had to have gallbladder surgery and was given Percocet that began my relapse. My daughter was four months old. Basically, I took her to my mom's when I was using to hide it from everyone. I lost custody of my daughter twice in four months due to my addiction. I was in total denial. I would do anything I needed to do for the diaper system to get her back, still all along using on and off. I suffered from bipolar and post-traumatic syndrome and was also self-medicating. I lied to my mom, my sister, my stepdad, and the diapers people about my usage. I told my mom every excuse I could come up with so she would give me money and watch my daughter, not realizing I could jeopardize her own recovery. I was never under the influence in her present and never showed back up high. I would leave my daughter with her and be gone for days. I had the flu a lot, well that's what, that's what she thought, until a police officer called her on June 6, 2011. I went to pick up some friends who I went to cop heroin and I got pulled over. Upon searching my car, I was found with a bag of heroin and a hypodermic syringe, taken off to jail. Dyfus once again for the third time in seven months took my daughter away from me. I called good old mom for bail, she said no way, and left me there. I spent the night, call, called her in the morning, she gave me a choice, jail or detox, and rehab. To which I chose detox. Mom came, got me out on bail, and we called for detox. I had to wait two days for a bed at the Sunrise House and struggled being sick. My mom would not allow me out of her sight for those, 20, for those 48 hours. Not only did I give her a bunch of verbal abuse, but I also was going to get high. Well, that's what I thought. Nope, mom held me down and made me suffer till that bed opened. I'm currently residing at the Sunrise House and I have been accepted into the Mommy and Me program where my daughter will be returned with me on July 28th. I've learned a lot from this rehab about myself and my addiction. Yes, I'm an addict. It took the people at the Sunrise House to make me see this. I will remain at the Sunrise House with my daughter for six months and then be moved to a halfway house for another six months. I've gained back weight and my appearance looks 100% better. I've never felt so good. Did speak the hell out of any high I've ever had. I owe it all to the Sunrise House, my dear mother, my stepfather, my sister, and especially my little princess Rodney. I didn't ask to be an addict, but I do ask God to help me stay clean and sober. Please keep me in your prayers, and may God bless every addict and lead them to this recovery. Hi, my name is Debbie, and I am Ashley's mom, and I am also an addict. In 1998, I lost custody of my two daughters due to a suicide attempt. While a patient in Newton Mental Health, I was diagnosed with clinical bipolar and post-traumatic stress syndrome. My children's father thought it was best if I were no longer to have contact with my children. As a result, I began my journey into drug addiction by self-medicating and moved to the state of Florida. Arriving in Florida began a journey within itself with prescription medication and working in the health care field only led to any prescription I wanted. In 1999, I injured my back and was given Percocet. Wow, my own prescription. Well, for six months, I was given these pills and never told the doctor I was no longer in pain that I was addicted. At the time, I was taking 30 Percocets a day, and of course, it wasn't prescribed that way. I worked for a doctor and had all access to opiates without his knowledge until he finally caught on and I was arrested. Upon going to court, I begged the judge for a long-term treatment center in which he gave me at Par in Key Largo, Florida. I was there for 18 months, followed by four years state prison. I was released from prison in 2006, returned to New Jersey and regained custody of my daughters, not knowing my youngest daughter was active in addiction. In 2009, I relapsed. I had heart failure, died, was brought back with a stent inserted in my heart. I knew upon being released from the hospital that I could not stay clean alone. So I called a very close friend of mine who was also in recovery at the time. My journey began with that phone call. 
I asked her to be my sponsor, and she said yes. But there are things you must also do on your own, Debbie. That was on September the 3rd of 2009. She told me I must call her daily, attend daily meetings, and do book work, which I did do. She drove me daily to meetings every day for five months until I felt responsible enough to go on my own. At times, I felt a relapse coming due to overwhelmment from my daughter's active addiction. I would call my sponsor. She would help talk me through it. My sponsor at that time was Jackie. And although she has struggles of her own, she's a great person. I owe my recovery to her. She kept me clean from opiates, along with my program, my reading material, my phone calls, and my higher power. Thank you.